Just a few weeks ago, Olya Svintana was with her family in Kyiv, but following the devastation in Ukraine, she and her son managed to escape and reach Chicago. My husband woke me up and uh, at five in the morning and uh, told that uh, they are bombing us. He heard the explosions, like it's, it's there, it's here. We packed like whatever we could in one hour. All I wanted to do is save my son, my single son. Her husband stayed to do his part in Ukraine. When I hugged him, hugged him and uh, left, you know, uh, who knows if it was the last time, you know. Across Chicago, aid donations are pouring in. These are just some of the donations that have been collected in Chicago for Ukrainians. This shipping company has already sent some six containers worth of goods to Poland and they intend to send many more. Most of the donations are then repackaged and sent into Ukraine. Right now, people need everything. Medical first aid and also food, clothing. Whatever people bring, we sending everything. I think the whole United States, everyone is helping. And it's a big help. The United Nations counts more than two million Ukrainians who fled the country in less than two weeks. Millions more are expected. I don't want to sit down and cry and feel pity for myself because uh, there are people in Ukraine uh, that need help much more than I do. Olya's message to governments and authorities around the world open doors and hearts to refugees. Give them chance to uh, work, give them chance to uh, educate their children, so schools and jobs. Let them feel ground on their feet and they will care of themselves because we are strong, Ukrainians are strong. The events of the last weeks fueling a devastating humanitarian crisis that may be only beginning. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.